Kravitz. That is Russian for hello. Mason has arrived. And it's one of the biggest Friday feelings ever. I've got all Russian. Oh yeah, it is the big 29. Has arrived in Dan's RC hangar. I'm spitting everywhere, I'm getting all excited. Don't worry about the world, just shut the world out for now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a bigger hangar. Oh my gosh, welcome back to Dad's RC Hangar. It is that Friday feeling and I am feeling good. I'm trying to give some of that energy to all the people that follow me and subscribe, which I love each and every one of you. Yes, we're going Russian today because we have got the Russian MiG. And did you know it's not called a MiG-29 Fulcrum? Fulcrum? Fulcrum. I think that's how you say it. No, that was all made up by NATO. It's a MiG-29. So, we are gonna unbox the MiG-29. I'm trying to make space in the hangar this weekend, um, below, so I can get a few things in there. Because I really don't know how I'm gonna build this. <laughs> what possesses me to buy these things? I don't know, I don't. Anyway, I bought some things from a place called RC World. I'm not uh, subsidized, or I'm not whatever it is by them. But look what they give me as a freebie. It's their freebie of the week. It's got to be the new unboxing knife. Sorry, Bear Grylls. I love you, man. But this is going to be the new unboxing. But only because it's blue. I like blue. So what have we got in the box? I'm sure you've seen many videos of people unboxing this. Because this took three months to come. No fault of Free Wing. I love you, Free Wing. Mwah. Here's a kiss for you. And Motion RC. Mwah. Another kiss for you, too. Yes, it was a bit late anyway. I don't know why I was at the bottom of the pecking list. I don't know. What did Dad's RC hanger do to anybody? So I just had a wipe a small tear there. But they lost it in transit. Someone's probably flying my plane somewhere. I hope they crash. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Welcome to that Friday feeling. Oh, yeah. Come on, feel me. Oh, can you feel that energy coming from me? I have been waiting all week. This should have been, yes, the continuation of the Tiger Moth. And I've got new servos for the wings because I ordered the wrong ones. Yes, I did. And, but I couldn't leave this in the box. This has been with me for a, a, little, a, little, a week and a bit. I was meant to, I had Monday off and I was meant to build, the, uh, do the unboxing of this first. Uh, but I was a bit under the weather. Um, I'm okay now. Thank you for asking. Um, yeah, so, okay, so, before we do this, get comfortable. Turn your phones off. Turn the TV off. Tell everyone to keep quiet. Sit down and relax, because this is a Dad's Arsy Hanger unboxing of the Big 29. Even though it's bloody big. Right, okay, let's have a look. So, we've got a couple of sticky things. Now, this is the best thing I can do is have it on the side. Big 29, you can't see it because it's so bright. That says MiG-29. I'm going to keep that. Why? I don't know. But let's stick it over it. Yeah, it's all changed in the weather in the UK. It's horrible. This is, this is cold season. <coughs> so what we got here? Oh, okay. These are the um, the Tiger stickers. Is it Tiger? It goes on the back of the wing. Let's use my new NIF. Oh, that's sharp. So under here, there should, under here, there should be, oh there's some, some other decals, you can't really see it, I don't think, I can peel the, yes you can, there we go, is it a tiger, snow leopard, Rawr. scared me, hello, right, so that's got stickers on, but, 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 I don't think I'm going to put the stickers on, no, 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 did you know, just for a bit of information, that even America have got a MiG-29. Except for the UK. Why didn't we want one? There is a really good information online. I think it's 1977 they come back out. They came, they made it, the Russians. It was to fight the uh, F-15 and 17 apparently. Politics. Let me, uh, let me stick that stickers behind. Oh yes. Oh, we have got the user manual, or as I like to call it, the Bible. I am quite concerned. All these, 
why are you waiting for this? I've seen so many videos and they end up like this box, just a, a box of bits. So we'll go and see if I've got the upgraded stuff or what, I don't know. But we shall see. I have no idea where I'm going to put all this. This is a half in itself. But there's the Bible. I'm not going to read it or look at it because there's too much sex in it in here. We have got a spar, carbon fiber rod, goes in between the wings, no doubt. I can't know where to put it all. I might have to just put it back in the box. Sacra blue. Okay, what we got in here? We have got a nose cone. Yes, we have a nice nose cone. Okay, so let's have a look. What did my bang for buck get me? Did it get me some good, good, good stuff? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad, not bad, I suppose. I don't know what I'm looking for. I think I'm just spoiled by the Tiger Moth. All wood, but that's nice EPO foam. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh. well, it's, it's a bit cheeky because it's kind of like the fuselage, isn't it? And I should have done a slow-mo for this, but this is obviously, there's a, what are these? These look like rails, I think, in there. Are they rails? They look like rails. Lots in the box. Got no room, but it's all right. Yeah, these look like, yeah, these are bomb rails. So they use the same printing as the A6 that you could 3D print off, which I didn't like. Um, this obviously is, uh, it may be a bit better, I don't know. I went from the A6, I went with the magnet option. I can't hear a word you're thinking. Huh? Now this is nice, this is nice. I'm a bit sad about all these little bips and bops on it. And uh, you know, it, they've got a tag, it's a tag to open it, no latch. That's really disappointing, don't you think so? The, the amount of money you spend on this plane, they couldn't put a 2P catch in it. It's okay. I'm being honest, you know, why? Still nice. Kind of like a HUD display, but nothing on it really. Not that impressed with it, to be honest. It's nice though, don't get me wrong. There you go, look. Mr. Pilot. There's nothing on the HUD, you see. I saw a video on, uh, on Motion RC's Facebook where a guy 3D like laser etches the HUD, that would have been so cool. I'm all about detail, I'm not just about sticking it in the air and fly because mainly I've not flown any of these, have I? <laughs> but that's not my fault, but you know, we'll get there. But I do love detail on the plane. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, it's all good. Good, good. Yeah. I don't know what I was expecting, I think just, just, just for the amount of hype, isn't it really, that you get for this. You know, don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a lovely, it's huge, absolutely huge. I do love it, the nose cone. I might have to put these back in here, actually, uh, just because I don't want to, I haven't got the space at the moment, so I can put that back in a minute. So, we, what we got here, we got one of two wings. They look pretty cool, don't they? I mean, don't get me wrong, this is one sexy aeroplane. Or jet, should I say. One sexy jet. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Lovely. Actually, the paintwork on this is really, really cool. It's got a bit of the uh, the um, the servo that closes the uh, for the wheels. The uh, the servo. There's a bit bit uh, gone a bit too far in there. If you can see that. If you can't, it's not a problem. Decals are really nice. The paint work, the paint job's pretty good on this actually. It uh, it covers up a lot of the, um, as Adam Savage would say, it covers crimes. So there we got our little connector for the wing. If you can see that, I'm sorry if I'm blinding you. Um, as I say, it's lovely hinges. Ah, oh, thank you, Free Wing, for your hinges. They are great hinges. You've got to admit. Ball joints as well on the horns. The servo holes. So, so I'm sure you've seen all this before. I uh, don't know if I'm blinding you with the lights or what I'm doing, so I can only apologise. And then that's where the rails go onto those little 
click in rails, which is fine. I try to make, I've tried to 3D print, 3D print these, but I think on mine was, it's a bit weak. It could have been the, the 3D, where these are probably uh, moldy plastic. So, but yeah, nice. Got a, 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 a LED light at the end. It's nice. What we got here? We have got so much stuff in the box. Love it. I can't see in the top of the box. Seriously. I don't know what these are. Oh, what are they? Okay, these look like battery trays, maybe. I would say. Now, I don't know if these have got updated stuff in there because I didn't look at a lot. A lot of stuff wasn't unboxing. It was more complying, which is agreeable. But that might be. That's like, looks like a removable battery tray to me, or one of them anyway. <coughs> now these are the elevators, but they're called something else, aren't they? Paints. I've forgotten. Let's see if I can remember when I make the video or edit the video. No, nope, nearly had it then. Brain's gone. Brain fog. Brain fog. So let's have a look. See. Right. Okay. Now I think has this has this got the new. Has this got the new linkages? On this, uh, the, the horn, it is aluminium. Can you see that? With a ball link? Hopefully you can see that. That is aluminium. I don't think the original was aluminium. I could be wrong. Leave a comment if I'm wrong, but I think, that, I mean, there's not a package in here. In here? In here? <laughs> Let's say um, about the linkages. This is hot, this, this, this hat is hot. This, this, uh... But I've got to keep it on. It's all about, it's all about the Russian moment. To all you Russians out there, lovely plane. Well, as I say, most of the world owns, uh, owns a MiG-29. Oh, there we go. Yeah, aluminium. So, um, yeah. Awesome. And it's a nice finish as well. Decals are nice. You can't, you can't, not say anything about that. I'm loving it. I mean, I really should have maybe just paused before I do this because I got, I've still got work on my mind. I could only apologise. You know, people call you at the oddest hours. Now, if I can push this back a bit, absolutely crazy. Why would someone buy a plane this big in here? Right. Okay. I believe this is the uh, front of the nose section. Man, I could just, I am so excited about this plane. I could just sit, you know, when I first saw this, the very first day, when they unrevealed it, I think it took me about 10 minutes to push the buy button. And yes, it did. Right, okay. Now, in this little package as well. So we've got the actual, <coughs> oh, there's lots of little bits in here, so a bit careful of that. So this is the front of the airplane. This is where the nose cone goes on, and I believe it's magnetic. There you go. Look at that. Already, that looks the size of one of my planes in here. And then we've got a couple of bars that, that, that fit into the back side. But look at the lovely lots and lots of room in there. It's nice. You got, you know, I, absolutely awesome. They did a fantastic job in the design in this. There's my stickers falling down. It's all right. They did a great job in design. The design of this, I mean, if you've seen the videos of how they design this, it is it's pretty awesome. It's not just foam, EPO, there's plastic in here, there's wood in here. It's, it's an awesome design. And already that is exciting me. I might have to have a couple of moments by myself. Hang on. Oh, you're back. So I had to have my moment. I'm gonna leave that out. I am. I think that's all we got in the top box. We have got these bits and pieces. We've got some, we've got some glue, a glue and a, and a torpedo horn. In fact, there's a list here. So we've got antenna one, antenna two, antenna three. We've got fuselage decoration parts. We've got uh, the four parts inside and outside. We've got a fixed wood piece for the nose cone. So that slots into the nose cone to keep it more shame. And some EPO glue, all in that very pack. Then you get another bag of bits now. I don't know if these are different from the original bars. I don't know if they are. But they're the push rods, if you can see them. 
In fact, let's get one out and try not to lose. These are the push rods for the elevators that are the wrong name of calling, and I don't think these are the upgraded ones. I don't know. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see that. It looks like it's the original. I don't know if the original had this bar on it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. And there's some, yeah, there's some rods in here for the elevators. Some, uh, what we got in here, let's say what we got in here is screws, different sizes, elevator push rods. So they call it an elevator anyway, but it's not called an elevator, is it? I think it maybe is. I don't know. <laughs> uh, elevator push rods. Uh, two of them are rudder push rod, another elevator push rod. We've got three elevator push rods. Hmm. Clemency's, uh ball head buckle, full elevator, full elevator rotating shaft. Yeah, it's two of those. Elevator ring, carbon tube, and an on slip mat, which is basically what we started using, uh, what I've started using in batteries anyway. So I don't know if they've got any upgraded parts, if that's the originals, I don't know. We'll get her out in a minute with the fabulous Slimo um, that I've been looking forward to. <sighs> Feel the love. Free ring love. With a caramel motion RC on top. Oh my god, I can see it. I'm gonna te I'm tearing up. I can see, oh my god, I can see it. I can see, don't look. Oh. <laughs> I've been waiting, waiting and waiting. This just doesn't fit in the hanger. Well, I can't get to the camera now. Oh, look at this. Oh my golly gosh. I, I think I've actually got emotional tears going on. This is erotic. God damn. Right, these are the <laughs> these are the riders. I'm quite teary. This It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've just got to pretend I'm on my own. <laughs> uh, these are the uh, um, horizontal stabilizers. I presume they're called that. Two of them. Nice lots of uh, lots of plastic to keep it sturdy. And once again, you've got a ball link. This is not metal. This one. I've, I've got a feeling that those on the elevators, the the control horns, aluminium. They wasn't aluminium. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, it's the servos in here we need to look at, but uh, I don't know if he's got a new servos in. Um, I don't think so because they put the decals, if you can see that, you're looking at here. They put the decals over the, the hatch that goes over the servos. So there's no way of telling if there's new servos, but I don't think those ones get replaced. Um, you know, everyone's been going on about the problems of this and there's so many people that don't have problems, so. I don't know, but the hinges. Oh, it's butter, butter. Look how smooth that is. Oh, erotic. Goddamn RC eroticism, if that's a word. I can't, I, oh, I just wanna, I wanna hug this plane. I really wanna, I know it's weird, but I just wanna hug the plane. <laughs> I'm gonna put this over here. Oh, yes I am. There is the second one. Exactly the same again, they've, they've done the decals over that, so you know, you'd have to cut the decals to have a look at see what it is. But if I'm gonna respray it, um, and not for a while, but I've got a I've got a vision. And it's a, one of the uh, the original MIG Russian looks. I'll tell you what now, you see this on YouTube videos, okay? And yes, it looks big, but you don't realize how big this is until it's sitting there in front of you. I mean, that is kin huge. Oh, I'm speechless. I am speechless. I, I really am. I mean, Free wing is just the design is just emotion I see called it up said yeah this is this is good. We're gonna do a slow-mo 
I've got to pull myself together. Come on, stop it, Chris. I'm going to do a slow mo now, and it's going to be. See, look, the dehumidifier just turned it off to dry my tears. They are happy tears. It has got a clip on here. It has got a clip. I take it all back. Why has it got a clip on there and then a pulley thing? I'm sorry, Free Wing. I apologise for that. Just get it out, Chris. World, meet the MiG-29. MiG-29, meet my YouTube followers. Yeah, they're good people. Bring on the slow-mo. I mean, where do I start? Where do I start? I'm in shock. I really get, and oh, look at these, uh, okay. These are super lightweight missiles. Really light. And we've got, how many are they giving me? Six. A full plethora of darts, which needs spraying. Six of those bad boys. Look how big that is. Awesome. Absolute awesome. Let's stick the nose on. It just slides on. It's got two holes. Sorry if you can't. Can you see what I'm doing? You sort of gang gone. Wow. Wow. Let's get the man out. Let's get him out. Come out wherever you are. Don't hide from me. Oh, right. She fits in there. Yes, there is a pulley thing. I think I just started off wrong. I think this has cheered me up. 
I, 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 unfortunately it's been one of them bad weeks at work and it was still inside me and uh, I think it's just the emotion of this look at this look at this I, you just can't see the size but look at this aeroplane I mean no wonder I mean you get look okay wow I mean I am in awe at the moment um, I think the worst thing is is that I've got a very small hangar and a very big plane so I do apologize if I've not done it justice um, you know I think I'm not too sure about this uh, this hatch I think it's because I've not stuck the nose on a bits and pieces so it's not in, in the correct place as it should be uh, but we're going to sort that out um, oh <laughs> sorry about that um, I'm, I'm in awe I really am I mean Alpha from Mo, from Freewing should I say has just really done a, a superior design in my book um, I really hope that uh, this on the Maiden with Dom it doesn't crash it doesn't have a, an issue that everyone says it has we will change the servos I'm going to change the servo linkages and a few other tweaks just to make sure that it's going uh, going great I've been told by Peter Taylor that not many people are using the, uh, the, the Bible's um, throws so we're going to make sure we use those to the millimeter um, and yeah absolutely fantastic so keep safe if you can fly have fun and thanks for popping by i'm gonna have a moment with the mig now see ya <laughs>